This video is about what you can expect in your first two years of real estate after you got your real estate license. Okay, first thing is you have your real estate license, now what? You're just out there legally able to help uh, clients buy and sell real estate. However, you do need to know a very specific set of things. Where to hang your license. Okay, some people hear that and they think, am I literally gonna put my license on a wall in some brokerage office? These days, no. Um, however, you have to know where you are going to be licensed because you have to be working with a managing broker. We get a broker's license here in Washington State, but you still have to have a managing broker to oversee all transactions. So the best way to go about doing that is a few things. Interview managing brokers. Talk to your friends who are also realtors. If you've bought and sold the home before, talk to the realtor that you worked with. Continuing, oh, sorry. Continuing education. Just because you have your real estate license doesn't mean you know it all. You are always learning in this field. Everything that you deal with is gonna be different than the thing that you dealt with before. Every transaction has a lot of minutia in it. So you're gonna to wanna to be up to date on everything that's going on. You can get continuing education through the National Association of Realtors. Hopefully your offer, office, offer, uh, hopefully your office offers continuing education with forms, contracts, etc. Also being up to date on the Northwest Multiple Listing Service forms and how those are updated. We have a lot of people moving to the greater Seattle, Bellevue, Kirkland area from out of town, out of state, out of country to work at huge tech companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, you name it. So being the local expert is only gonna help you and help your clients and it will make your career way better. Okay, a lot of people ask, what brokerage for me? So I would just like to say, go with a brokerage that lets you move at the speed that you want to run in your business. I always say that I do real estate in my running shoes. As you can see, I'm in a hurry. I got goals. I wanna get there. I wanna get my clients there. The caveat to all of this is that you're really running your own business. You are your own entrepreneur, self-made person and you have to decide what kind of days you want to live, how much business you want to take on, and are you willing to survive or are you able to survive in the scarcity of it all? Because real estate is not determined 100%. It is all over the place. It can be very unpredictable and you have to be okay with that. What was one key thing that you didn't know you need but you really rely on now? I'm gonna actually answer that question with two key things. One of them is motivation slash routine. You have to be motivated and be in your own routine where you can scale your business. That is going to be very important and that is up to you. Are you a morning person? Or are you a night person? You could go on and on about that, um, but solidify your routine and stick to it. The second part is a very good support system. You have to have the people around you who love you, who care about you, who really want you to do well, because they are your lead source. The people who know you at first, if you're fresh into real estate, are going to help you excel beyond your wildest dreams. This I promise you. And the last really important thing is really interviewing yourself. I know that sounds kind of woo-woo. Uh, however, you have to understand in yourself what kind of person you want to be in this career, what kind of job you want to have day-to-day -day life. Are you hyper-driven? Do you want to work part-time, full-time, full-time plus? Ask yourself is if this is what I want to do. Real estate is very much about your personality and who you are as a person and we throw so much of ourselves into our jobs and that is such a good thing because our clients throw a lot of themselves into the purchase of their dreams. So it is only natural and fitting for you to talk to yourself and wonder, okay, am I cut out for this? Is this the lifestyle that I want? Do I want to sell this many homes per year? Whatever it is, whatever works for you, find that out so you can fine tune your lifestyle and be the best broker in whatever way you want to be.
Okay, those are just a few things out of so many when it comes along to, ah, sorry. Okay, those are just a few things among so many when it comes to getting your real estate license and what to expect. There's so much more. If you have any questions about that, please reach out, like and subscribe to our YouTube page, pop a comment in our comment section below, and we'll get to that on our next video.